The wheat harvest in Oklahoma is almost complete across the state, except for the panhandle. At last report, 52% of the harvest there was finished, and that number increases every day. Kenton Patskowski, a Beaver County wheat grower, is almost done with a very challenging wheat crop. It would be the driest growing season I have ever experienced. Okay, would start, you, you mean all the way back to? All the way back to my beginning one in 1978. Okay. What, 40 uh, years. And that's a problem made worse by a very weak, very shallow root system. Patskowski farms mostly dry land, no-till wheat. He's down to his last two fields needing harvest, and then it's on to weed control. Weeds have just went crazy. We got this seven, eight, and nine inches of rain in just eight or nine days, and it has really livened the, the weed population up. They're just going crazy. It's warmed up, and they're gonna be out of control soon, so we will be, as soon as it dries up enough, we're gonna have to get after the weed control program. Which, um, which kinds of weeds? Kochia, Russian thistle, mm -hmm. pigweeds. And then after that's under control, he says the plan is to leave the stubble in place to protect the ground. Patskowski uses a half and half wheat fallow rotation, but prices are low enough to where he's considering a switch to cotton, at least until the wheat market improves. People are nervous about uh, exports and uh, tariffs and all that going on. It's got a little bit of our it's got people in the trade business a little bit nervous. I think they're taking some protections, but I think it'll come back. We had a very low, a very low wheat, uh, a wheat volume crop this year. So I think the supplies will be down. I think if we can get this trade issue under our belt, um, I think wheat prices will rebound. Kenton Patskowski, wheat grower from Balco, Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Wheat Commission reports that Panhandle wheat is averaging test weights 60 to 62 pounds a bushel at protein 12.5 to 13 percent. For the Oklahoma Wheat Commission and Oklahoma Genetics Incorporated, I'm Don Atkinson.